I'm down here at the riverfront spying on Noah, but I spotted a squirrel, so I wanted to check him out first. Isn't he cute? He's fat, too. Anyhow, back to Noah. Since you're probably not sure what I'm talking about, NOAA is N-O-A-A. -A. It's the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, and it's part of the U.S. Department of Commerce. You see that little boat out there, about in the center of the screen that's bouncing around? That's their little ship, and I've been seeing it for years on the river, and you can't miss it. I think it's been going on since about 2015, so I thought I'd finally look it up and find out exactly what was going on. So here's the skinny. The Coast Survey started a multi-year effort to update the nautical charts of the Hudson River. Oh, distraction. That's an old sloop pier. That probably dates around 1900. The sloops used to come in here to pick up the sand to help make New York City. So anyhow, back to NOAA. The project involved collecting new hydrographic data and creating large-scale electronic navigational charts. And it began with an initial survey by one of the Coast Survey's navigational response teams. NOAA sets charting priorities by considering a range of factors. Some of the most important of those include requests from the maritime industry. So when the Hudson River pilots asked the Coast Survey Navigation Manager to accompany them on a transit down the Hudson River for a first-hand look at the problems caused by out-of-date soundings, the Northeast Navigation Manager jumped at the opportunity. The Coast Survey understood the pilots' concerns, especially since the charts in the area outside the Federal Channel. And what they mean by the Federal Channel is, this is an international shipping lane river. So the channel that's deep enough to handle these ocean-going vessels is that Federal Channel. And they had not been surveyed since 1939, and in some areas, the soundings were pre-1900. So here's to a safer river. Thanks for watching, everyone.